Uh, it could be a, have a big impact, especially in the Houston area. Uh, it is still a tropical storm with winds of 60 miles now with circulation near Brownsville, Texas. But look at all of this rain lifting north. And as the storm lifts north, especially east of the circulation, so Houston, Lake Charles, Louisiana, which remember was just hit by a really big rainmaker uh, not that long ago. Look at this, and a high risk of flash flooding south side of Houston, Galveston toward Corpus Christi. Remember the last time that there was a high risk of flash flooding issued? It was all that flooding in the East Coast, in New Jersey, in Pennsylvania. So that is what they could see along the Gulf Coast today and into tomorrow. Our weather is decidedly quieter. You can see some clouds coming in from the south. Those will be lifting across the remainder of the Omaha Metro this morning. 67 at the airport, dew point of 63. Feels a little muggy outside early today. Now, if you live in parts of Audubon, Carroll, Crawford, Shelby counties, you might have a little rain in the rain bucket early this morning, but the rest of us stay dry overnight. We do have that front lifting back north, a few clouds along that front right now, but more moisture is well off to our west, so it's going to take a little bit for us to see that. Winds today gusting you know, 20, maybe 25 miles an hour at times out of the south, and that'll help bring the humidity up a little bit more. We'll say partly sunny by midday. Temperatures in the upper 70s and low 80s, depending on how much sun we can squeeze out. A few more clouds this afternoon. There could be a tiny shower or thunder shower, especially north of the Omaha Metro, north of the front later on today. South of the front, upper 80s, maybe even near 90 for high temperatures from Omaha to the south, mid 80s to the north. Again this evening, tiny chance of a shower or thunder shower to our north, otherwise partly to mostly cloudy with temperatures in the low to mid 70s. And notice tomorrow, there's more green, more yellow on the map. I still think the rain chances on Tuesday are going to be isolated, but I'm still saying impact weather because there could be rain, maybe a couple rumbles of thunder tomorrow. That'll keep highs around 80, sunny, lower humidity, beautiful on Wednesday, but then we're right back to that summer-like pattern with highs in the upper 80s, near 90, more humidity, and maybe a pop-up storm on Friday.